Ah uh, hey babes. I've missed you so much since school closed down. Rosie I see you all the time. Don't be such a screw jealousia. I've missed sitting next to you in maths. You're so keen. Lol. At least I will be successful one day. You ought to become a rebel. I don't want to be anything like Zahaknib thank you very much. Hey Kiernan. Hey. I can't talk right now. I'm going to talk to Mrs. Ness about my student dictatorship. Well someone thinks they are a teeny bit special. Don't worry. I doubt it will last anyway. Kiernan what are you doing in my chair? Hello Mrs. Ness. Please take a seat. I'm the student dictator. So I have prepared you a nice list of all the improvements for the school that I want making. Well sit down. So, what's this list you wanted to show me? Here you go. Well I have to say, in my 15 years as head teacher, I've never seen anything like this. Do your parents know you wrote this? No, I don't usually involve them in school stuff. Let's keep this between us. Also, after what I have said on the list, I will probably need a new identity with half of the staff. Can't imagine why. Well, Kiernan. You will certainly save the inspectors the bother of a visit if I sent them this. Especially because of this very helpful list of all the rules that you think are stupid. How about you talk me through this list? See if we can come to some kind of agreement, eh? Number one, staff manners. Hey Henry. Hey Ava, can I get you anything? Just a cappuccino please. Can I ask you something? Sure. What is it? I mean, it's a big favor. But it's my dad's 73rd birthday soon. Do you think you could hold a party here? It is a milestone after all Henry. Yeah sure. But I wouldn't say that 73 is a milestone. Well that's the age you can officially become a pensioner. Thank you Henry. This means so much to me. Also one other thing. I would like to get all my dad's old friends back here to celebrate. Do you think you could ask Jack and Kazek? Yeah of course. That's a great idea Ava. I'll get Casey to invite Valentina and Louis here too. Oh, and don't forget Vanessa. Thank you. That's so helpful. I'm going to ask Daisy to come too. Oh, and remember. This is a surprise party. So keep quiet. See you later. Number 30. The kitchen staff can get very rude if you ask them if they have followed all the hygiene policies in place. Number 40. Let's leave the remaining 78 points, shall we? See the thing is Kiernan. I am here as a secondary school head teacher. To help young people transition from the youth to the adult world. This list unfortunately steps you back a bit. Do you want to get moved back into your little infant school? I can always call them and beg them to take your way back. Do you think they would say yes? It was fairly big actually. And no I don't need to go back there. Why would I want to when I hold all this power? Well on the contrary I think you proved that you do need to. And I bet you would get lots of gold stars if you went back. Cause at primary school they dish out gold stars for. Well, well for breathing really. I think my great approach at Street Central High should earn me gold stars Mrs. Ness. That's good. But I do think some of the students have been copying me in tests and then the teachers are too thick to realize that they shoved their test in the pile above mine. So that when teachers go to market, it gives me a bad impression and a bad grade. Are you suggesting that the students here are a bunch of cheats? And are you suggesting that the staff are undermarking you? Take a look at the list. Oh yes. Point 64. I actually can't believe Kiernan is student dictator. Am I hearing this right? Kiernan is student dictator? Prepare for the policies. Yup. Since when did this position become available? Since Kiernan was a victim of Zahaknub. Weren't we all a victim of Zahaknub?
Would you like a custard cream, Kiernan? Yes, please. Ooh, sorry. I would, but I didn't follow the hygiene rules before attempting to give you one. And I simply wouldn't have enough left for myself. So, Kiernan, how do you think you set an example to the younger years? I think they should idolize me. I mean, why wouldn't they? Yes, the sad but true fact is that it seems many youngsters wish to be famous one day. Yes. Shall I tell you something, Kiernan? I really hate children, especially after dealing with you today. It's made me reconsider working here. So I guess you will be leaving. I'm really sorry, Mrs. Ness. Maybe you'll get another home. I hope the dog's home takes you. I think children ruined more lives than polio or Ebola. Ruined them with the ludicrous shared belief that all adults are stupid and can routinely be outwitted by small children. Did you say you wanted a bicky? You see, Kiernan, you're a kid. I'm an adult, so I'm right. You're wrong. I'm tall. You're short. And I'm right. You are totally wrong. And yes, sometimes we might come up with some stupid rules, but nonetheless, themes the rules. Wasn't that line from Matilda? See, you don't hate kids really, or you wouldn't have watched it. Not all adults were bad anyway. Miss Honey was nice. Be realistic. Miss Honey would be sacked for inappropriate behavior. Now, if you like reading, I suggest Jekyll and Hyde. Represents normal and good versus evil. That's exactly what children are. So, Kiernan, what are we going to do about your little list? So, after a lot of internal debate, I have decided to keep your little list. Actually. You could put it away for me. Where, Mrs. Ness? In the shredder-looking object under my desk. You mean the shredder? Yes. And you're no longer a student dictator. Thank you very much, Kiernan. I will be having a chat about you to Mr. Jarred. Goodbye now.